This video demonstrates the installation of Siemens network licensing to upgrade the legacy Siemens PLM license server and is being presented by Spatial Integrated Systems. The Siemens license server or SLS is based on Siemens advanced licensing technology or SALT. It utilizes a common vendor daemon, the SALT daemon, in place of multiple legacy daemons. The SLS is backwards compatible all the way to NX5. However, the SLS is required for NX2212 and higher versions. It is the replacement for the legacy SPLM server. Here is a list of supported operating systems for the SLS. For Windows, the SLS is supported on Windows 10 and 11 and Windows Server 2016 and higher. The best practice is to run the SLS on a server-based operating system. Downloading. The NX2206 and later installers no longer include the licensed server as they had in previous versions. Instead, the NX installer now has the option Obtain Siemens Licensed Server, which takes you to the Siemens Support Center where you can download the latest version. You can also go directly to the Siemens Support Center at support sw.siemens.com On the Siemens Support Center both the new Siemens License Server and the legacy Siemens PLM licensing are available for download. This may be a source of confusion. Make sure you select the Siemens License Server. The link to the latest release will appear in the blue box. When you get to the downloads, you will see a lot of download choices for Windows and Linux. You want to make sure you select the Siemens license server for the operating system you are using. Once downloaded, browse to the download and run the installer as the administrator. Wait for the temporary files to be extracted and the installer will detect any legacy license servers and prompt you to uninstall and upgrade to the SLS. The existing license file from the legacy server will still be used. Note that you cannot run both the legacy SPLM license server and the SLS on the same machine. Select your language and you will be prompted for two port numbers. The default port numbers for the SLS are 29,000 for the communications port and 29,001 for the daemon port. These port numbers will be used for all license files on this server. You have the option to select advanced settings, check the box, and you can then change the port numbers to those currently used by your existing client workstations. For example, the default for the communications port was 28,000 and the daemon port 28,001. This will simplify the migration for any existing client workstations making the change transparent to the users. Otherwise, all the client workstations will need to be redirected to the new port. Here you have the option to accept the default path for installation or you may change it to a custom location. During the install, you will be prompted to install the Siemens License Install Manager, or SLIM. SLIM is an optional feature to remotely perform administrative tasks to the license server. The SLIM installation will require you to input your web key address. Also, to use SLIM, you need to download and install the Siemens Software Center, or SSC, application, also from the Support Center. Or you can check, I do not want this feature, to skip this option. Here you can verify the install path and you also have the option to have the installer add exceptions to your firewall if so desired. 
you can uncheck this option if you prefer to address the firewall issues manually. The server will now be installed, configured, and the service started. Here you can verify that the server has been successfully installed and started. That concludes this video. And thank you for watching.